We need to talk. The Wasteland, the Commonwealth, these are stressful locations. Ada never shuts the frick up. Sometimes you get attacked by a death claw when you're in the bathroom and you have to kill it and leave it splayed all over the ground. Sometimes you get attacked by raiders. Sometimes uh, dog meat stands in the way while they're trying to make a video. It's a stressful, stressful place. And we need a way to relax. Also, I like to roleplay. And if you've seen any of my roleplays, you'll know that I like to get very involved in my characters. And also, I like my characters to kind of have a kind of a bit of a dark side. I think the characters that are just a bit too good or a bit too dull. But I am actually trying to play a pretty good character at the moment. This is Mitch. He's in my current um, kind of survival role play as Dogmeat gets in the way of the shot again. And, um, you know, he's being he's going with the Minutemen and he's into settlements. And so he's basically probably the most good character I've ever played. And I'm trying to find a way to just give him a little bit of an edge. Just a little bit. You know, something that you're just going to go, you know, oh, he's a great guy, but I wish he didn't have the, you know, the this or the that. Um, so why don't we put those two ideas um, together? The solution, ladies and gentlemen, to relaxing in the wasteland and giving your characters a little bit of an edge after you've destroyed not one death claw that attacked you, but in fact two. Um, alcohol and cigarettes. Cigarettes and alcohol, as Oasis would say, um, is my solution. Now, in the game, of course, you can drink alcohol straight away, um, but there's not really animation, but the cigarettes are just junk, as in literally they are junk, they go in the junk category and they do um, kind of junky things. But suppose, just suppose and imagine with me just for a minute that your character, after a long day slaying death claws and telling Ada to shut the frick up, we're all coping with loss. Just imagine you can sit back, maybe get a cigar, maybe roll a spliff, Maybe get a nice beer. Take a character, sit down on a chair, knock one back. Maybe stand up, go outside. Don't want to, you know, wreck these settlements. Let's face it, most of them are made of wood. And just light one up and let the world pass you by. You know, I'd love to drink it. And I'd love to smoke it. But to do both of those things, we're going to have to mod it. This is my little death claw friend. He actually didn't attack me in the building, if I'm honest. He attacked me on the outside. I destroyed him with a frag grenade. He blew up in the air, he sailed through the sky, and he landed in the building on top of these other bodies, which have now landed on top of there. It was quite spectacular. It's not relevant to the video, but I felt I should explain why I had a death claw indoors. But let's relax. Let's relax with this um, lovely uh, little mod. Let me show you what it is. It's called Smokable Cigars. And it's by Flip Deezer, who I've actually featured on my modit videos before um, as doing a number of kind of animation best animation best mods. He now has two new mods out, which are very, very cool. One of them allows you to drink and one of them allows you to smoke. And I'm going to be focusing on the, uh, the smoking one today. Basically, it works like this. You go into your inventory, you find your carton of cigarettes, you open the carton of cigarettes. It gives you a random amount of pack of cigarettes and you can then open the packs of cigarettes, which gives you a random number of cigarettes. So let's open a couple of them, and you can see I've got the cigarettes here. And when you're ready, you click one. Your character slowly takes one out. He thinks about the death that he's brought to the wasteland today. He relaxes just for a moment, just for a second. The wasteland feels like a better place. Now, of course, cigarettes are terrible for your health, and a lot of people don't like smoking. So um, while I'm smoking this, in fact, my charisma has been reduced by one. In fact, you can see Cosworth going past there going, ugh, passive smoking. Uh, but it has um, actually increased some of my uh, other um, abilities as well. You know, if I come in here, it, it has uh, increased my agility. It's minus my charisma, and it's increased my perception, just for, the, just for a few minutes uh, while doing it. And you'll also notice I've interrupted the animation there. So just for argument's sake, and this did happen to me before, if you get, if you're busy, you know, knocking one back here and letting the world feel like a slightly smokier place. And you happen to get attacked by, you know, a massive rad scorpion. Just click into your pit boy and click out again and um, it will cancel. Now, what you can also do if you wanted, and this is completely optional, is go into your inventory and go to your, I think it's in the miscellaneous section. And you can come down to smoking settings. And if you go in here, uh, you can put the little uh, smoky. Uh, thing in here and we can choose if a i want the um 
animation to loop over and over and over and over and over again and do or do I want it to auto save on survival mode so they I think I think most people have decided that the kind of sleeping only when you sleep thing is a little bit too annoying like you see where they're going with it but I, I when, in one of my other modded videos I've got a mod that allows you to save but when you save you lose adrenaline and I think that's quite a nice compromise but you can also do it this way you know so you can only smoke when you're not being attacked and you've got time to basically kind of sit there for a little while and do this which is also quite a nice way of doing it and you can turn that on um, or off depending on uh, you know what, what you want to do uh, as well as the uh, the cigarettes uh, you can uh, smoke cigars and we do it the same way you open the box of cigars and uh, you smoke one and uh, your character takes one out it's like slightly larger Ada walks past going hey where's mine he lights one up uh, the light does give her just a little bit of glow there you can see it kind of bouncing off the face and you've probably seen um, Piper doing this but this is the, the, what this mod allows you to do is do it as part of the player um, animations as well and if I don't interrupt it it does go all the way through um, the uh, the smoke, by the way, coming from my head isn't part of the mod. That's actually just the, the flaming bush, <laughs> flaming bush, flaming fire um, behind it. But it does complete, and after say you know four or five drags, it goes in. And I really like it because it gives my character an edge. And I guess I know there's probably lots of you sitting there kind of going smoking edgy, really. Ugh, what is this? The 1920s? But I like it. It gives my character a little, just a just a little like. Oh man, he'd be such a nice guy, but he smokes and drinks. Ooh, you know, it's just my character's little edge. But if you want to make your character even more edgy than having a slight nicotine addiction, you can just run over to this suspiciously appearing chemistry lab and uh, become a little bit of the Walter White as you load it up your drug category. And we'll see right at the bottom here. Whoops, a joint has appeared. Two cigarettes, a bit of blood leaf, a bit of hub flower. Put it all together. And you could make yourself something well, a little bit stronger. Let's say you have had the aforementioned death claw day. Maybe you've betrayed someone. Maybe a companion died. And then you activate it in the same way. You come into your uh, inventory. You click on the joint. Your character gets very, very excited. Now, the joint is slightly different from the others in that it has its own... Uh, well, it's, it doesn't exist in the game before. It has a, uh, a custom mesh, if I kind of zoom on it. And uh, as you can see, custom visuals. Now, I won't show you the Pip-Boy, because if I do go in the Pip-Boy, it'll cancel the animation. But this gives me a whopping plus five um, perception. I can see basically everything right now. It only lasts five minutes, so it's not really a, uh, a, perhaps a, a combat um, uh, usefulness. Combat useful. It's not really useful for combat. There we go. So I hope you consider picking up uh, these smokable cigars and, and cigarettes and uh, joints. And if you do, don't forget to come over here and click the endorse button to thank um, Flip Deasy for his hard work. Now, of course, there are other cigarette mods actually out there. Um, in fact, I actually had one before. Um, but uh, this one, the animations are far better. They don't kind of glitch in the same way. Of course, if you have any other things that kind of modify cigarettes or junk in that way, there may be a, a conflict um, issue and if you do have the save game on i spotted that when you save there's like a kind of a little pause as you save but that tends to kind of happen with auto save anyway but you do get that little kind of you know chunk as it actually kind of saves and of course the the have a beer animated drinking by the same uh, model for flip easy um is linked from one to the other so if you fancy having a, a entirely different personality vice then do go and uh and check that out Either way, thank you very, very, very much for watching. Um, I hope you have enjoyed looking at this video. And if you can, please subscribe to the channel. Check out the other Mod It, Build It, and uh, Roleplay videos. And I hope to see you guys real soon. Take care. You have been fantastic. Goodbye.